Why? Because a comforting word could be a greater charity than a thousand dollars or even more. Sometimes what a person needs from you is just an ear. Listen to them. And that's why my beloved parents who are here, I started off this talk by mentioning the mechanism Allah has made. It is your duty as parents to take care of your children. Listen to them. Give them importance. When they say things that go against the very grain of your existence, listen to them. Respond with wisdom. Give them a response that will convince them. And if you do not have that type of a response because of your inability, go to others and seek help yourself in order to respond to this innocent child asking you a difficult question one of the reasons why we find ourselves so backward at times on earth is because we used to at one stage as Muslims I'm not too sure about here but where I come from they used to say keep quiet you're not allowed to ask this question whoa okay so what's going to happen well someone's going to answer it wrong I'd rather say you know what I'll speak to you tomorrow if I'm too embarrassed to say I don't know the answer and go and find out yourself. People will ask you about the Almighty. They'll ask you about so many rules and regulations. They might say, why is this and why is that? Not because they don't believe, because they are confused or because they are ignorant. They don't yet know. And sometimes we ourselves as adults and knowledgeable people, we don't know the entire wisdom of everything that the Almighty has said. We don't. But it's our duty to continue to try to understand. There comes a point when you know my faith will lead me to adopt something I may not fully understand, but I know it's somehow beneficial for me. If the Almighty has instructed it, like I said earlier, it has to be beneficial. So my beloved parents, listen to your children. Many of the young children slide into suicidal thoughts simply because they feel rejected by you, my beloved parents. And you don't think because you're too busy working. You're too busy in something else. At times, unfortunately, sadly, and I'm going to say it and it's a red card. We're too busy having an affair, unfortunately. And this is why the children are struggling. And what are you doing? Oh, you're busy doing something you're not even supposed to be doing. So this is why I say, lend them an ear. Do not just admonish them and tell them, don't ask, go away. I don't want to hear this again, etc. These are harsh words. As generations are passing, you notice the globe has become a little village. This global village is such that if you don't help, the child will receive perhaps the wrong help online or from anyone else. So spend time with your children, quality time. And if for some reason one of the parents is not there, or if both are not there, it is the duty of the next people who are the closest in relation or connection to that particular child to do the same. This is a duty from Allah Almighty. Why do you think Allah Almighty has taught us through the blessed lips of Muhammad, peace be upon him, Ana wa kafilul fil jannah, myself and the one who takes utmost care of an orphan and brings up an orphan will be like these two fingers in paradise. Why so much importance? Because that child is lacking a parent. So let the entire community stand up for that particular child. Your father's not there, but guess what? We are all there for you. Subhanallah. That is what we are taught. This is amazing. What is it? It's empowering. When you empower a little child, you deserve paradise. That's what it is.